<laughs> Yo, what up, fools? You clicked on the right video. We're at Cedar Point. You guess what we're about to do? Rope drop a freaking wild mouse. Dude, I've never been more excited. This is so stupid. Welcome to the gray skies of Ohio. Dude, Cedar Point day two. Let's freaking get it, bro. Alright, this is where Hershey beats any other parks. $12? Take my money. Alright, the wild mouse over there, Doobie Wild Mousing. We gotta talk about, uh, not the boardwalk, the thing behind it. Okay, I know. I know it's not great. Did the wild mouse. It's a wild mouse. It's doing this wild mouse thing. But nobody's here. I don't think it's gonna give it a redemption ride, but we gotta try it in the back row. We did front row yesterday, back row today. It's a gatekeeper. It's 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 good for a lineup like this park. It falls really really flat, and that's understandable. It is extremely well rounded, but doesn't excel in all of the things that it accomplishes. There's like super weak floater, there's very slight whip, there's good near misses, and all of that put together makes a good well-rounded ride, but if it excelled in all of those areas alone, while still being the same ride, that would be a crazy wind coaster. It is a foggy morning in Sandusky, and we are headed up 310 feet into the sky, Let's go check out Millennium Force with 45 minutes of early entry left. All right, so I didn't vlog anything yesterday. This is our second day. It's just gonna be a much more chill, relaxed day. Yesterday we got around row four to six, I wanna say. We wanted to keep moving just to cry, cram credits. The only mission for Millie today and the rest of early entry, which we got about 40-ish minutes, is to get a back row ride and a front row ride while we're walking up to it. Let's talk about Rougarou. We got like three rows from the back yesterday. Not horrible. There is some moments where you do feel a little bit of head banging. Overall, the rattle's not terrible. The shuffle, I can see how it gets to people, but honestly, I enjoyed it. It kind of is slightly underrated in my honest, humble opinion. And this is something that I'd definitely hit up every visit if this were my home park. Wow! Alright, overall not horrible. Yeah, there's definitely very little roughness, which I was surprised by, but just like any other BM with over the shoulders, there's gonna be a lot of head banging. And there yeah. Was. Some of the intensity isn't there, but I really, really, really like some of the transitions in the second half, the, the switchbacks and stuff. All right, and I hope Millie's crew is flying. I think this is totally accomplishable in 40 minutes to get two rides on it, but the line is a little bit backed up. You can look up the center of the train. You can look up the center. Amazing views. Amazing views. Up, oh, Steve's going. There it is over the outer bank. <laughs> that gets no air time. All right, bro, you ready? Wave to Canada. That's Canada. Yeah, we're over there's Canada. Yo, what's up nerds? Uh, we're iPhone vlogging now because Millie took way longer than it ever should have. Um, <laughs> so they took a train off. Yo, no shot guys, they're taking a train off. They're going from two train operations. I mean three train operations to two train operations. Yellow train is going bye bye. Now they just gotta lock that puppy in. And it's good. Now the train goes back. I thought that was a person screaming. Nope. There it goes. Uh, 
There we go. Then finally it put us on, all of these were like five plus minute dispatches. So in around 40 minutes we only got one ride because I don't know why, if I'm being totally honest, it shouldn't have taken that long. So Millie yeah, really is knocked out, got the back row ride. I don't even know if the glass is recorded. Just horrible, horrible start to the actual normal operating day. You can see we are actually trying to get, like we're going against the current right now, trying to get to Valraven. If Valraven and Raptor, if I had to pick one, I'd pick Raptor over Valraven. Which one has the shortest line. Slight, slightly annoyed, slightly annoyed. We thought we were gonna get two rides in 40 minutes, which should have been completely accomplishable, but now we didn't. Very, very sad day, because we got on a trash dive coaster and sacrificed not getting a ride on an Inver, which has an hour long line right now. We might come back to it later, we might. We might, it just has an hour long line. Maybe come back to it at the end of the day. Thoughts on Valraven though? It's worse, rough. Worse than Sheikra and Griffin. I have I it in between the two. I think Griffin's the best, then Valraven, then Sheikra. Okay, first up, this has to be one of the weirdest carousels I've ever seen. But um, now we're gonna keep talking about the trash dive coaster in the background. I don't know what Alex was saying. Uh, there was tiny, tiny, like weakest, smallest, littlest amounts of floater. The airtime hill did not deliver. Hang time and all the inversions, but overall pretty rough. I don't know, it's disappointing in that aspect. So I think Valraven has the better layout, but I think Sheikra rides a lot better than Valraven. Something I would enjoy doing in a park like this, but only if we have time, would be the train as I think it's super neat that they still have an actual one-to-one -one scale replica this locomotive but only if we have time especially in a park like this but we have a lot to do and a little amount of time to do it this is a phenomenal view of that coaster We're gonna head to Maverick now. I'm excited, I freaking love Maverick. So good. So I'm really, really eager to get back on that coaster no matter where we sit. That thing has incredible transitions and just brings me back to some of my first rides on like I-305 with some of those transitions and how happy and excited I was. It was, it was, it's a feeling I haven't felt in a really, really long time. And it's a feeling an RMC hasn't even given me. It's just, the true intensity of a mid 2000s in intimate. It's, it's, it's nuts. Holy snap. I was about to say something not as PG, but uh, we waited for Steve. We got three rides on it yesterday. Uh, it's time. It's finally time. Get on Steel Vengeance. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Let's talk about it. It's my favorite coaster. Alright, now that he, he got his thing out of the way. <laughs> I think Wildcat spacing is better. I think this is overall more complete package. The airtime out of this world. So much of it. Other forces? I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I'm, I'm sad that there weren't more forces of other kinds. Now, laterals, like in the first top hat, there's laterals. I'm also disappointed that the outer bank didn't deliver as much as I really wanted it to. I thought the outer bank would be much better. May I have a cup of water? Thank you. I'm gonna be honest, I thought that the it would be much better than uh, the first top hat, but honestly, the outer bank is just barely hanging on. Everything weaving in and out of the structure pacing and whatnot feels like a smaller <coughs> it's flawless I see why people put that as their number one I think I still prefer Gwazi and things that are more intense it was not intense just a very very good ride that's probably our last ride we'll get on this trip we got front row because why not just to test the waters RMC's tend to run much different in the front than in the back yeah. sweet Jesus dude I think I like the front half 
more in the front. The laterals on the top hat are just are 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 bruise bruise your legs almost like it's it's so powerful. The, the top hat and the outer bank are better in the front, but the second for hat sure, is for sure. I now know why people love that outer bank so much. I'm gonna be completely honest. It was kind of underwhelming me a little bit in the back row yesterday. Now that I finally got that front row ride, I know what the hype's about. Holy crap. Back half, back, second half I should say, back row ride for sure. First half, front row ride. Please, ride both. Nuts. Nuts. I think it's sitting at my number four right now. It's his number one. Yeah, this needs to go Wazzy for me. Absolutely not. I mean, just the hype and pacing and intensity of Wazzy. This has the hype. Doesn't have the pacing or intensity, in my opinion. It does have the length. Today, after the first three rides, it was at my number six behind Toro and I-305. I think after this, this ride we just got, it is for sure my number four. Now let's find a restroom and fill these back up because I'm yeah. thirsty. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. Adopt. Oh, that's probably like a half a pound right there. No, it's not. Dude. Hang on. I'm gonna take a picture because that doesn't oh look like that much. God, it's not even dude. overflowing. It's not even overflowing. $10. I'm calling it. What do you think is how, how much? How much? Place your bets. I'm gonna say eight. 850. This means five bucks. 850. Stop this. 850. 850. We were, oh my god, we were both wrong. That's, oh my god. What the frick? Elbow is goody little. You just dream, you little, I can't say it, there's kids around. Elbow is goody little poop head. I freaking drained my bank account. I doubt it. Jesus. I, oh my god. I am such a sucker for inverts. My lord, Raptor is no exception to that. They're so good, so intense. Anything from the 90s is practically flawless. They, you can't go wrong with inverts. The sequencing might get a little annoying, but the sheer intensity is crazy. Alex just brought up his ranking of inverts. I think it was a little bit better than Afterburn, but I would take uh, I would take Montu over it, and I would take Alpengeist over this. While it is a phenomenal ride, I think it ranks below all of those he just said. I do really like it. They really, 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 really should have made um, a Cobra roll on every invert. Should have been just like a no-brainer Cobra roll or Batwing. I mean, while the majority of them who need turnarounds have them. I think things like Great Bear and stuff would be top tier if they had something like that. Alright, so it's just me now, alone, like usual. Anyway, long story short, we decided that we want to leave soon. We gotta get last rides, so I'm running into Magnum, getting my last rides on Magnum, because I really want re-rides on Magnum. And then, going back to Wild Mouse, if it has a short wait. Alex went gatekeeper re-rides. I said, nope, I'd rather get Magnum, baby. So I already got row three yesterday. Crap was nuts. Today we're gonna get back row. Let's see if that's any better or worse. <laughs> what is this ride? What, what is this ride? like Phoenix level airtime right there. Ride this? Magnum back row. I see why Magnum has a cool following. Not as good as row three. Hang on. All right. Not as good as row three, but still so good. Still so good. Bigger airtime hills. Phenomenal in the back. Row three, Phoenix level ejector on everything else. Those tunnel hills and whatnot. 
I'm such a good coaster. I'm sorry. I almost, I think I do. I think, I think I'm not kidding anymore when I say I prefer that to candy. Yeah, no, that's good. I love it so much. I can't, I can't describe exactly what I'm feeling and how I describe it because technically candy should be like totally the better coaster. But I like that better. That's crazy. Oh my lord. Boys and girls, it's just a wild mouse. This says 30 minutes. I mean, what? One and a half more switchbacks and you got a full queue? It just opened too, like three minutes ago. I mean, I walked from power tower to here, like a, like a three minute-ish walk. What? So we did in fact leave Cedar Point after that, which means I did not record an ending to this vlog. I hope you guys did enjoy the vlog, and I hope you will continue to enjoy the Cedar Point content that has not only already come out, but the stuff that will also come out in the future. I can't thank you guys enough for watching this entire video if you did make it to the end. The comment question today is how much was Alex's frozen yogurt? If you comment that down below, and if I like it and respond, I'll be sure to give you a shout out in my next video. I can't truly thank you guys enough. Thank you for all the recent support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.